Hey, and welcome to another Prima.Law support video. So let's say you do business law, or maybe you just need to create a contact for a company within Prima. It's very simple. Let me show you how to do it. I already created a, a company here. It's a big company. I will go back to contacts just to show you uh, how, how to do that. It's a uh, same process when you create a an individual within Prima, contact for an individual, but you select company up here and you input all the information that pertains to that company. Once that's done, you just click save and it'll take you to that company's contact page. So I'll just go back to where I was. This is the company. Important thing to uh, keep in mind, I do want to relate this company to the individuals. Uh, for example, uh, this company is going to petition for one of their employees. Um, and of course, as you can see below, I already have the employee and the company representative. And there's two ways that you can add those and link those contacts to the company. You can either create them as new contacts and they will be automatically linked once you finish creating them. Or alternatively, you can link the contact itself if you have already created uh, the company representative and the employee you just uh, type their names over here let's say Sam right so any of them I can pick and then I choose the type of relationship either employee or company representative and if the company is going to um, submit a petition for multiple uh, of their employees you can do that too and add all of them directly link them to the company right so once you have added the employee and the company representative as uh, related contacts to this company you will open the contact page for the employee that the company will petition for I already have a case created here um, but the process is the same you just create a new case select uh, HB visa just as an example and create the case as you normally would. It's important that we create individual contacts and individual cases for the employees and the company since we do want to use the client portal for more effective, efficient communication and secure as well. Uh, that's why we need to register an email for the company and an email for the employees so they do have separate accesses to all the information and the cases, the checklists, all of the good stuff that you can share through the client portal. So very quickly, let's go ahead and recap. First step, go to contacts, new contact, create the company contact, all the information goes here, click save. It'll of course uh, take you to the company's contact. Then you go to related contacts, I'm already there, and you click either new to create a new contact linked to the company what I would personally recommend is to create the company representative and the employee beforehand so you can just link them and select the type of relationship okay and that is how simple it is how easy it is if you want to create a company uh, you do business law you want to create cases for those companies employees use the client portal have individual contacts for everyone uh, under the company i would recommend watching our other videos uh, related to the client portal how to create contacts of course as well and thank you once again for joining me in today's video see you in the next one bye, -bye.